Let's see, we took care of the ant problem. So let's see what else we gotta deal with. I mean, they said they needed a lot of help. Is that a kid? Two kids? What the hell? All right. What else could they possibly need help with? Oh yeah, grenade launcher. Be careful with explosives down there. That sounded weird. You know what I'm gonna do? Wait some time. Uh, I should have done more. Dang it. Was it like 8 o'clock daytime hits? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we can see. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. Mm -hmm. We could use help tending to any injured we got. Okay. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't even see this. Ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Okay. Do you need like confirmation to go on to the next thing or something like I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Wait a minute, maybe he's gonna go back. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. I guess I fixed it. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many... Nah, I'm not gonna do it. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Very smart kid. Now that you know the story of our I honestly I was expecting that to be that wasn't bad. It was a good storyteller. But uh Yeah, that first bit though. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. 
Who needs help in here? It's a hanger? Hello, outsider. Can I get the codes to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Bye. Cool. So you're the outsider. You've lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. Eh. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Of course there is. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Horse. Young hearts, huh? Fine, we'll help him out. I am kind of curious about this person he's talking about, anyways. Where we gotta go for this? Crimson Caravan? Why is the one that you like here? Red hair, huh? Where's this supposed red hair you're talking about? What? Here? This one? Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Been inside Nellis, there's a young man who has had a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Special sort of guy, perfect for a special sort of gal. Oh, the lady killer actually where it came in clutch there finally. I knew there was a good thing to have that. I just gotta meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? <laughs> this is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Oh my god, the back and forth. Well, that was actually easier than I thought it'd be. From one inside uh outsider to another, I guess. These guys just letting people in now, huh? So I guess I got a whole new reason to find scrap metal, I guess, if I got to give it to them. I wonder how much they pay me, though. I know what you're thinking. It's not what you're about to pay. It is on here. Wait, I missed my turn. I think I did. Yep. Pearls, here we go. Hey. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traders. They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive.
mean a lot of Jack if she can come to know us. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Hey. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Hey, you say the word. My grenade launcher make a mess of her. I do believe you've convinced one or two of us. Bye. Why'd you say it like that? Hmm. Well, that's good. I'm glad we were able to help him out, but... Probably wouldn't have went so smooth if I didn't have that lady killer perk. Ah, eh, who knows? Maybe it'd have worked out. Should have lied and let her get blown up. That'd been funny. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Cool. That works. I'm totally not rocking a <laughs> stolen boomer's outfit. <laughs> I go back to the Crimson Caravan. Give her the outfit. Tell her what's going on. Where'd you go? There you are. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? We've got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross the house. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Ah, <sighs> see what I can do. Damn Brahmin crap everywhere. <laughs> What's up, you old bag of bones? McLaugh. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Carrot. The name's Hostop. Don Hostop. Can I help you with something? Like some kind of muscle you got here, huh? Welcome back. Jasmine talked to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Morb gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. True. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Take all. It's Hold on. I think I got something here that might help with this situation. Barters and speech. Benny suit. Yeah. Yeah. Now we fly. Anyways. That and I think. Don't I have another? There's a barter. I don't think that's gonna help me. Welcome back. My terms haven't changed. You really gonna ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for? Her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. 
But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Hey, see, I knew you had a heart in there, you old bag. Okay. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Mister, to pay you what you're owed, you're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. I, I'm just trying to get some, you know, debts owed to me from the boomers to help me out. All right. Let's see here. Now we gotta go back out here. At least I'm not in it. Can you imagine if I respawn and I was out there in that open area where they're blowing everything up? Is this it? Yeah, this is the building. Where is he at? There you are. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet. I just got scrap metal for you. Hey, thanks. Bye. Nice. Cool. Oh, well, there's another one down. It's still scrap metal. There's still the scrap metal to give it back to. Oh, well, that's done. Don't know. It's, it's still blinking, though. I wonder if it's blinking about me uh, giving him more scrap metal, though. And not for, like, a work reason, either. Just, like, a... Like just a little side mission thing. I got something over here I think I can do. Maybe? What the hell's all the way over here? Oh. Wait, is that the... Is that old girl? She's getting closer. What the hell? Now the dot's back over here behind me. Oh, why I walked all the way over here then? God dang it. Oh, yep, there she is. Once a Republican, always a Hello. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire life. No. Nope. 
Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Ah, young dumb love. What you got on your back there? Oh, rocket launcher. Missile launcher. Well, let's see here. Thing goes boom. Ah, there we go. Does anybody in here need help? It seems that the territories are about to blow up. Hey. Attic. Who else needs help? There's a couple this direction? Or is this the one with the kid again? I think it's the one with the kid. Yeah, I'm not going in there again. Uh, so there's one more marker this way. What's over here, though? Oh, it's the doctor. Nice. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Extensive medical knowledge. See what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Got you, Ham. I got you. Hmm. Man is like a seriously injured may require amputation to save him. Are you sure you want to attempt the operation? Medicine 50 or higher. Let's see. What is my medicine? Oh, bet we're 60. Nice. Upon further examination, after cleaning the leg, you realize it could be saved. Carefully remove the existing stitches. Clean the wounds third. Thoroughly restitch the wounds closed to use a much more effective procedure. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. W. Treat him. There was some fine doctor. I could learn a thing or two from you. A serious infection. Proper treatment will kill him. It look like medicine 40 or higher. Bet. Bandages disinfectant. You're able to clean the wounds, help boost the patient's immune system enough to he'll survive. There we go. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. If I haven't said it before, outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you're to be greeted as a friend. I need medical treatment. Can you spare some medical supplies? I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine, at least. Bye. Very serious guy. Alright, who else needs help? There's at least one more. Right ahead of me? Oh, wait, am I... Wait, am I actually done? Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. You know, think about that. Giant ship. Airplane thing. Like, I'll try to help, but I don't know. I'm gonna let you know right now. I put on the materials for it. <sighs> where? Oh, where is? 
There he is. What's up? Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Huh? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. All right, I'm down. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Oh, a rebreather would be sick. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk to Jack. I ain't trying to drown. Try holding your breath. Oh, man. Try holding your breath. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I mean, with a breather in the water? I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Mm. Great. That's all I need to get the rebreather to work right. I don't think you'd want to start breathing water halfway down. Don't get blown up. Pressure cooker, huh? Our rangers are gonna show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. You just moved here. Where the hell am I gonna get a pressure cooker? I mean, I got one idea, maybe, but like... It's a bit of a stretch, though, but we'll... We'll see if they have one, I guess. Thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I do for you? Take a gander. Do you have... Dang it. You got scrap metal, though. Another satisfied customer. Thanks for stopping in. Hmm. He wouldn't have it. It's the same. Uh, we could try. What's up? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping. Ah, three stim packs. Hell yeah. Where else might have junk for sale? Like a pressure cooker. Pressure cooker, pressure cooker, pressure cooker.
Gibson Scrapyard, maybe? I mean, that's a bit of a stretch, but we could try and see if they have it, I guess. Uh, she's not in. Uh, oh, it isn't. Let's wait for him. Oh. A little short. Wait, what the hell? There you are, you old bag. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Happy to do it. Hey, real quick, you got a pressure cooker? I knew that was a bit of a stretch. A shout if you need anything else. Over and covered, can't move. No. Oh, wait, I can sell you my carton of cigarettes. So you're back. Let's see here. Nine of those. That's 270 caps back. Hell yeah. That's why you always get those. I still don't understand what the cases of ammo is for, though. Death Clay. Packs of cigarettes. Sensor modules. There you go. Pleasure doing business. Take okay. I can move. Ah, better. Cool. Yeah, I still don't understand. What the hell's the cases for? Is that maybe the cases is like the empty shells that's what it probably means man i don't know where else to go get a pressure cooker fro i mean maybe it won't be too far down i guess we can just try full send it but oh he's not A little higher. Yeah, that worked pretty good. HP is low? Why's my HP low? Oh, because I was probably blowing it up next to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that might be why. 
All right, let's see how far down this thing is. Yeah, I'm already kind of drowning. And I can't jump, so... I'm going to need to get that pressure cooker. Wait, is this the wrong spot? Oh, maybe I can get closer if I go that way and then go right there. Uh, I don't know if I can, though. I think this might be the only spot. Do I have any places that are closer? I got right there. Now, let's see. Another kill to my oh, no! Oh, is this going to blow up? <laughs> Don't question. Look, man, I wasn't trying to come to the camp. Dale Barton. Praise Dale. Uh... I mean, I wasn't looking for this in the first place, but I mean, I'll take it. Oh, why did I take the machete? Where's it at? There it is. Take your machete back. I don't need your machete. Take your purified water, though. You ain't gonna need it. I used a key for that no reason. There's nothing in here. Lame. How did I... Let's try that. Let's go to the dam and see if we get closer. Might be a bit of a stretch. Um, don't know if I'll be able to really get down from here, but we can find out, I guess. A lot of cool people here. Howdy. Can I go through there or no? I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. Hmm, inaccessible. Yeah, we'll be able to go that way. Let's see if we can go from Bitter Springs and see if we're closer. This might be a better option. Those dots are moving kind of fast. Not in the way I like either. It's a lot. Of, it's probably going to be a lot of bugs. I see them from here. Great. One down. But the only thing in this game that might actually really kill me, that death boss. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, these are dead. Can 
Captain Dean boats and baits, rental rooms, and ice cream? What the fuck? You live here? Oh, no, you don't. That was Boone. I thought it was somebody else. Ooh, bobby pins. Some wrenches. Some hot plates. Oh, <gasps> pressure cooker. Let's go. Take the packs of cigarettes. Sun spit, bash barilla bottle. Bobby pins, bottle caps, pre wear money. Rad X, steady. Partner cigarettes, always worth good money. Bet. Bottle cap. Single shotgun. It's a lot of keys. Boat rentals. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Knives. That's definitely not where I thought the where I'd find the pressure cooker. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Let's see how far this actually is or not. You know, if it's not too bad, we'll just go ahead and get it. If it's actually a little bit farther than what we think it is, then we'll uh we'll go get the rebreather then. Um, yeah, it's still a ways down there. The pressure cooker is definitely a way to go. Dang it. All right. That's fine. Just got to go back to Cavill Bay then. We get done with that. I mean, as long as I don't drown, that's all I care about. Wiggy Wiggy Jack. There you are. Whatever your name is. Yeah, it's Jack. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Oh, uh, alright, all right, yeah. Okay, chill. Have you found a pressure? That one right here. Thanks. This will just take a few moments. Okay. It looks like the valve from the cooker was a perfect fit. Here's the rebreather. Nice. Let's go. A scrap metal. Cool. How much can you spare? Hey, thanks. Bye. Sorry, no time to talk. So now, is that like an actual item I can put on? Oh, my pre-war hat's all messed up. Dang it. Water breathing. Nice. Actually, don't do. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Wore the right outfit, it'd probably look pretty good. Oh, I see. You can't wear the eyeglasses and the rebreather at the same time. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. Let's go back. Oh, I can't fast travel from here. Lame. There we go. What if the enemies are going to respawn, though? Nope. They all seem like they're dead. Good. Glad to see that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We'll make it daytime and then we're going to go just down an airplane. 
Underwater. I wonder if Boon and them's gonna drown though. What if my gun's gonna work underneath there? I'll sit tight. Hang on here, guys. There shouldn't be any dangers. Hopefully I should be able to get up back right here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, the rebreather was definitely the way to go. There's been no other way to get down here. I can't pull a gun out either. Oh, that wasn't too far. I just really couldn't see it, so I wasn't too sure, so. Any scrap? Attach the ballast. Attach the ballast. There we go. Huh. A little buggy. I can't get up the same way or no? Um, somehow. A lot of boats and stuff too. Over there. Wrong spot. To be fair, I didn't know I could actually swim. Got your back. All right, so let's see here. Oh, it was like a weapon or something. Nice. Old girl's in pretty bad shape, though. Now the interesting thing is, how you gonna get it delivered here? Sleeping over here? I hear you're going to help us. It's going to be a dream. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us.
Wait, wait, wait. It's like a daytime. I can't. I can't see nothing like this. There we go. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Spoken to Loyal, the B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Maybe a battle in the near future at the Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. See you. Ambassador Crocker. Hell yes, man. The boomers have vowed to support you. I think I go through all those check stations. What the hell's wrong with you? Eddie. <laughs> What the hell? Tell the squatter or Crocker, that was his name. Squatter. Uh, I guess we're gonna have the boomers help the NCR. I guess. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? What's up, bro? Excuse me? What of me? There you are. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? Tell you about the boomers. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Ah, oh, I just finished a hefty mission. What's there to do right now? Come on! Yeah! Let's go!